snack here. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Finally. Every time I cut my fingernails, that's when I have to open something. How that works. What was it? Hockey matcha sticks. Alright, so Mario Odyssey. I haven't played this in a long time, and I think I'll start a new game. Hmm. Had the urge to play a Mario game. I was thinking more Mario Galaxy, but I, I have to hook up the Switch, and that's a pain. Maybe Mario 64, but I beat that, so... I mean, not on stream, but I did beat it, but... I wanted to play something new. Mario I haven't beat, so let's play this. I'll adjust the volume. I don't know if it's going to be too loud or not. Uh-huh. Right playing with that. No, I got the Pro Controller. Thank you very much. I also might reposition the webcam guy until I Super see the hug. Mario Odyssey! Oh, and the Mario! I play in VR. You can play me in the VR! Yeah, so look at me. Oh, you want the options? I got the options. Choose your mode! What's assist now? Regular. I guess that's it, huh? Alright, let's just do a new game. This will create a new save data! Would you like that? I guess, yeah. Start in... no. What is the assist mode in this area? Oh no, screw that. <laughs> I'm not a baby. Okay, now just don't get stuck in any level or else you'll look like an idiot. In the skies above Peach's castle. Metal Gear Mario. Oh, crap. Okay, it might be a little on the loud side. I, I'll change the volume uh, after the cutscene. Actually, no. Yeah, I'll do it after the cutscene. I'm sorry, everyone. Nice Mario Brothers 3 music, though. Oh, they subtitled him. And that is how Mario died. That is how the world ends. I like how her crown is sentient. It makes sense why Mario's hat is sentient later, but... What are they Jabba no bother no Hata? Did you say adios? The ghost of his hat appears. Alright, now I'll mess with the volume. Once this level starts. Well, he's dead. I guess I'll take his wallet. Alright, I'll look around. Wow, this sensitivity could be better, guys. I'm back to life! Oh, I'm alive! It seems I'm in Jack Skeleton's realm. Uh, he ran away. Okay. Do, 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 do. Dude, it doesn't look like I'm blocking anything on the HUD, so... Let's mess with the volume levels. So let's turn it down to, like, that much. Maybe like that. Eh, actually, it's a little on the loud side, so, like, about minus two. We'll try it there. Okay. Look around. All right. So one thing I found that was cool about this game was momentum. Like, when he goes uphill, he slows down. When he goes downhill, he speeds up. I mean, that might have been in other 3D Mario games, but it seems more pronounced here. <laughs> but you get out of here. Wee! <laughs> what is this place? It's like some monocolored world. Who are you? I guess I'm not one of them, no. I ate your hat. I'm sorry. I was like on Nintendo. No one talks in like 
I mean, except Mario, he does say phrases, but even then he still doesn't really talk. It's always weird voices, like... Been through quite the, the ringer. Like an Animal Crossing do that too, right? They're like... Nip, 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 nip. You've landed in the Cap Kingdom. We've been under attack by the same Bowser monster that gave you such a such a trouncing. He's a meanie. He's a meanie. Oh no! I kidnapped my sister. Oh wait. Oh, okay, that explains the crown. <laughs> but you're a hat. Of course. In the odd Mario universe where airships is how you travel between planetoids. And by planetoids, I mean floating platforms. <laughs> by the monster, okay. Morotira! Hmm. Ah, yes, Distani! Whatever. Oh, no, I don't have my hat! I am naked without it. Now, now they have become, they have formed a symbiotic bond. Cappy has arrived. Cappy is now your companion forever. Never get rid of him. He'll be with you till death. Throw so, Cappy? Why? Okay, I threw him. I can also just swing the remote? Okay. What is this? Yeah. What was that all about? When I, sw when I swing the remote, like stupid crap happens? Got a compass. Is there a way I can reverse the camera? I, I guess that works. Yeah, uh, that's what that works. Not too weird. Oh, I can't dive. That sucks. Coins. What other weapons or other abilities do I have? I got the duck. Backflip. Okay. Right. I can recenter the camera with the with the L buttons. To Bonatown, pride of the Cat Kingdom. Uh, yeah, show me. What the hell? Uh. Oh, good text. Children love text. Adults do too. We all love just reading, like. <laughs> Ranking Balloon World. VR, put some cardboard on your face. <laughs> <laughs> the Virtual Boy has been reborn! Here, would you like to buy a $30 piece of cardboard to put on your next-gen gaming system? By all means, I know I would. You know what? The sad part is, I totally would get that Labo or whatever. Um, if, if, if they made one that looked like a Virtual Boy. I wouldn't stream it though because I it'd be impossible to do it. Yeah, I, I did that. Airship, my beautiful. Did I throw the cap at the at the people? Oh. What the? How did that? Oh, I see. He gets on top. All right. Huh. Interesting. Okay, I got the 180 jump. I just don't have the dive. Money guys are What about these flowers? Oh, I can I see. Why is there a spot out there? What was that all about? What well, what the heck did that even do? Can I reach that sign? 
Nope, the answer is no! No, they just take like six coins, that's not bad. Like... Oh, you hold the button down, that's how you jump on the cat. Ah. Annihilate it. Huh? <laughs> oh, there's like secret coins? Alright, you just throw the hat in it. Inside Top Hat Tower. Pretty sure the water probably hurts me. I mean, it's cold. Or I guess it doesn't hurt me at all. He just swims. Woo. Now we will take control of them. They are our slaves. Mario can now steal people's souls. Has become one with the frog. <laughs> At least he still has his signature mustache. Dash? Doesn't seem like much of a. Uh, I guess it is a dash. I was gonna say, it's not that great. Again, there was Frog Suit Mario in Mario Brothers 3. Oh, Buzz. Just jump over him, I guess. Golden rings? What is this? Sonic? Excuse me, coins, huh? Okay, so I guess we don't get five hit points like in the old Mario games. Nice. Oh, it's in the chest. Can I open it as a frog? How do I not be how do I become unfrogged? Press I pressed all the buttons, so that's it. Now, now's a good time for one of those tutorials. ZL. That's not ZL. Is this ZL? Is this ZL? Okay, that's ZL. All right. I don't know what ZL is, but <laughs> left left trigger would have been a better better thing. Oh, you can get six HP. All right. Song return, the thing only does one hit. Ooh. Oh, it's a halfway point. Oh, I like how you get a uh, suit on you, that's nice. This is an Easter, folks. What, why are there bunnies? He has, he has bunny minions? Oh, they're wedding planners, I see, of course. 
They call us the Emote Brothers. <laughs> oh, okay, sure, yeah. Do I jump on his hats? Or do I just do that like, oh, I see. Now I jump on him. Straightforward. Oh crap. Just two? Alright, just two. There we go, I gave him severe brain damage. And then he exploded. Oh, he just. Okay, now I've become pure energy. I've evolved beyond. <laughs> It's like a Space Odyssey 2001. He's become the Space Baby now. Cascade Kingdom. That's a beautiful waterfall. I like the rib cage with the dinosaur. That's kind of cool too. has landed. Face first. The first power move. It's so weird with these kind of graphics. They're semi-realistic. You know what I mean? I don't know. You know, like, like they don't have that cartoony look that you would expect. this oh okay I don't need that I can just jump up there and grab it kind of pointless with that okay some goombas I like these cave paintings and they're all pixel art homing cap throw after throwing your cap shake the controller again to perform a homing cap throw cap will fly toward the nearest target you can see it's super handy when your aim is a little off oh, okay motion controls shake the cap Oh, I did the circle one. Any coins around here? I'm trained now to look be behind everything. Birds. Who changed the chops? And why? Oh my goodness. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Well, I might move the microphone a little bit. Is it doing that because, like, the USB cable keeps, like, getting slightly unplugged or something? Is that what's going on? I guess we need the chop. Oh, I know. I know it's good. Release. Every time, man. Maybe it's this cable. I might have to unplug it, just go into wireless mode. Just walk in her chomp. Don't down talk to me, hat ghost. Mario's seen a lot of stuff. Oh, whoa, hey. Hey, what's up, Horoscope TV? How you doing? 
That's what we're looking. This this piece of junk, it'll never fly. I don't think it can make the Kessel run in under 12 parsecs. What is this? Oh, I gotta throw it. Okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, it's like a half of the chip. Hey, what's up, Demonic Sandwich? Oh my god. Alright, I'm just unplugging the controller. There we go. I got full battery charge, so let's go with that. Because it keeps doing that, so it's like, eh. Go full wireless, man. Enjoy your day off? Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's my day off, too. That's kind of why I'm I'm, I'm, play, I'm gonna stream and play some games. I was streaming Star Trek earlier. So I got the Star Trek out of my system. Now to get the Mario out of my system, because I've been wanting to play a Mario game. And it was either gonna be this or Mario 64, but I picked this because I never, I never beat it. So it just seemed like... New experience over old experience, you know what I mean? <laughs> Also, I don't really play my Switch that much. So I kind of... You know, I All the games I have on the Switch are the games that I like, that I got when I got the Switch. So it's like, I, sh I really should beat some games on the Switch. So I might switch out to Breath of the Wild at some point, too. Alright, here's a dinosaur. Look at him. Now I am the dinosaur. He's got the mustache. All right. Oh, there's a path over here. Oh, you can just take out chomps like they're nothing. But what's in that path over there? I must know. Poor dinosaur. Oh, it's a moon. Okay, so I have to check this stuff out then. Like, I have no choice but to, like, explore everything. That's just rock. That's not gonna do anything. What? Oh, I see. I gotta toss the hat. Hold on. Woo! I guess this just tells me how to do the, uh, yeah, the spin throw. Where'd the dinosaur go? Where'd the historically inaccurate dinosaur go? Oh, oh. That worked. I was just taking a guess. This part's kind of neat when you can like become two dimensional and, and like pixel Mario. I'll do it in a bit. I just have to check out everything. Okay. Wall jump. Wall jump. Kind of working. If only I had the dive, I could get. Well, I could have just walked up there, but you know. It's down here. Steps. Okay. This camera is so slow. What's these guys doing? Oh, they die immediately. Okay. There's also something going on down there. See, can I make that jump? I probably can. Yep. What is this? Okay. Oh, 
I don't know if those Mario enemies are from anything. I forget. They might be from, like, a Game Boy version or something. Right, let's do it. Let's become two-dimensional. I mean, we're pixely, yes. But can I use the D-pad? No, I can't. I have to use the analog stick. That's so weird. I like how he's... He looks like Mario Graphics 1, except, like, you know, with the, with the modern color scheme. <laughs> I wonder if there's a hack for the NES Mario that gives him this color scheme. I think that'd be nice. I mean, the rest of the game would be the same, but, like, it would be cool to have him have this outfit. Because he's more orangey in the original uh, Super Mario Brothers. Can I climb this pole? Oh, nice. They, they can, like, bounce off each other. Right, here we go. Here's a boss fight with Bunny Lady. And her golden chomp. Oh! Oh, she's got three moons. See, I'd read this out loud, but they're subtitles, you know? I don't want to talk over their language. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing. Okay, hats off. Ah! In her face, ouch! <laughs> I wanted to do the circle spin. Oh! There we go. Man, I didn't know Mario was so mean. She was just walking her chomp, and then Mario decided to just have to do this. Cause, why? Because he needs, he needs to steal stuff from her necklace. And what's his excuse? Oh, to save, to save the princess? That, that's why he has to do it? Because he's the champion of the Mushroom Kingdom? Alright, she's dead now. I hope he's happy. Nintendo kept it classy and gave her boob physics, too. <laughs> Multi-moon! Fly off into into the horizon. Oh. I can't wait into the future when we have sentient hat technology. Oh, there it is. Behind the microphone. Oh, so the ship is called the Odyssey. Alright. The hat ship. I mean, I've piloted a starship. I think I can handle this. Remember when Mario was a plumber? <laughs> Remember when that was a thing?
Well, thank goodness we have one headlight. Just in case we have to fly around in the dark. And then Mario couldn't breathe in the upper atmosphere. I'm just kidding, he, his hat helps him breathe. Yep, that's <laughs> Bowser, all right. <laughs> like how Mario's like, look, man, you don't tell me how to do my skills. This is like that SNL sketch with Chris Farley and, and the Zagat. You know, the, <laughs> the restaurant sketch. Yes, that's what I'll do. Pulverize my posterior. What's this? Oh, the action guy? Yeah, I'm not looking at that. So... <laughs> you keep pushing it on me, I'm not gonna look at it. Mm -hmm. A binding band. Oh. Like a wedding ring. Except, except worse, apparently. I guess he needs it, yeah, if he's gonna, like, use it on Peach. It kinda makes sense. I always thought Bowser kidnapped Peach for political reasons, but I guess... Well, maybe maybe he's still trying to marry her for political reasons. Maybe that's his way to get the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> Alright, so it's freezing in the desert. Could it be a power moon? I mean, it might, maybe. Let's do that again. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's kind of pointless. Can I do that in the air? Oh, I can. Okay, well, that is kind of... There is a use, then. Oh, but you still have your maracas. Good. Tostarina? Tostarina? Yeah, that's all we care about, is that he owes you money, not that he's dead. I guess we're going into the shop. Why is there a dog here? Why is the dog realistic looking? I can't do anything. Why is- why does it have a hat? Alright, okay. What do we got? You both sell the same thing. Okay, so like coin- like those coins and then the coins are going to be found in the level. That's normal. Well, I'm gonna buy that, because it's like, that's necessary. <laughs> Got that. A thousand?! Oh my god. A thousand to run around in my underwear. Alright, let's explore. Well, I can't talk to him now? What? What? Okay. Why did they do this? Who knows? There's stuff in the fountain, but I can't get it. Probably more places I can visit. How does this work? Okay, that worked. Alright. Oh, there's a moon thing up there. What is this? 
Oh, it's a parrot. It's a talker too, of course. All right. Okay. Try to get this. It's right here. Overlooking the desert town. I don't think I'll 100% the game. Oh, maybe I can. I mean, it's, I don't think it'd be hard. Just time consuming is all. Oh, wow, this is old school Mario music. A lot of the music's from like Mario 3, just remastered, like remixed. What rumble? Hey, wait. I wasn't even listening. I was too busy listening to the Mario 3 music. Oh. Alright, so I'm using the, the rumble feature. But, oh, it's pretty it's pretty strong here. There it is, alright. Because I think, yeah, the, the, this controller has like multiple uh, rumbles, not just like soft and like hard, it has like different stages of rumble or something. Or like one side of it can rumble and one side can't, something like that. Like it's got advanced rumble features. Okay, just... okay, that rocket ship's frozen, can't go there. This guy gotta say. Oh, alright, so that bright glowy light, okay. Well, I, I got some stuff here in town. Might as well, like, explore the area. Explore the ruins. What what footprints? I don't see any footprints. Where? Like, over there, over here? Oh, okay. What's the sign say? Oh, the long jump. Okay. Luckily though, none of these none of these jumps have changed since like uh, Mario 64. But I don't know why Goombas are like gold. I'm a bullet bill. Yeah, we got a moon over there. I might be able to get there if I possess a bullet bill. Okay, not go too fast though. Gotta try and control it a bit. There's a, there's a little momentum going on too. On the leaning pillar. Alright, so do I ever, like, not become... Oh, it, it, it does wear off. Ah! And I was like, man, if I could stay indefinitely as a bullet bill, I could just fly around the whole level. Okay, purple. Alright. Interesting idea to have like a desert, but it being the cold environment. A little twist on the old stuff. I don't know why those coins were just floating around like that. Kind of like sinkhole. Oh, checkpoint. What does it say? Oh, it just tells me how to do the ground pound, alright. 
I guess I gotta time this jump with the geysers. Oh, I didn't know there was. Oh, you move around here. Okay. And there we go. A two dimensional. I can't become a cactus. Oh, but they do have coins. I like how the music changes too. To be more retro themed. Oh, you can crouch by pressing down or the Z. This one in the crate? Oh, I gotta go all the way over there to get him. So I guess a hundred percent I gotta find everything, like all the moons, all the items. What is happening here? school platform. You know, I'm gonna look it up now. I bet you there is, like, a, a graphic hack for, like, the original NES Mario to have him look like this. With with this blue-red, like, suspender color scheme. But it's definitely the Mario 1 sprite. Like, not the Mario 3 sprite. shards in the sand, okay. Oh, that's nice. What's the deal with these? Do they not move at all? Okay. Oh, I see. You gotta hit the thing. Oh. Come you. Put on take off shades. That, that's his power? Oh, but he can't run when he has. Oh, I see. There's like invisible platform thingies. That's why the birds are floating. I can't jump though. I mean, you gotta look at him as the statue and then. Ah. 
cute. Get that hat, yes! Themselves are visible. Oh, what's up, Ginger Vitus? Are you working on a project? Alright, good luck with the project. I'm gonna just keep taking out cactuses. Oh, there's one. Oh, that was easy. Nothing's over there, though. Okay, two more? No bridge. Nothing's over there, though, but. Can't do anything about it. There's invisible coins, it looks like. I think we can follow their, um, right? Oh wait, there's an elevator. <laughs> Nothing else going on with these shades. Okay, I gotta get on that elevator. There's, like, platforms above. Straightforward. Do I collect these coins? Yep, now they're here. This way. Yep. That's the last moon. So I'm guessing that'll open a bridge. Falls. Get it. Yes. Oh, it's one of those um, things that you can like look through. Upside down pyramid. Okay, sure. On the inverted pyramid of doom. Now we got that. What was over there? Some things I think you probably can't have access to until you beat the level. Yeah, there's no way I can get over there. Well, it's part of the mainland, so I can always go back there when I. I think you can come back to the levels, so I don't have to, like, 100% it on the first try. I can always, like, come back and try to get all the stuff I missed later. Like most Mario games. I have to- I have to possess it. Mm-hmm. What is that? There's definitely something up there. Like an oasis over there. Stuff going on. There, I've been there though. This might be some place to check out. Pretty big level. And again, they went open world with this one. Just a dude there. Guys down there. Alright. That's not what I wanted to do, but okay. What's down here? Looks pretty simple. You put on the glasses, right? Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay, so you gotta memorize it. 
Because you can't walk over there as the stone guy. You gotta exit him. Oh, wow. That was, that was bad controls on my part. That was... jump gonna be long enough though? Shit! No. Alright, we'll try it again. Long jumping. Oh, the coins are gone now. That makes it harder. Oh, that's weird. Okay, you can just you can just bounce on him. I wonder if I can kill him if I stomp on him. Let's try that out. No, it's, it makes me jump higher, though. You think the long jump would clear it? I know the long jump... I'm afraid of overshooting it with the long jump, though. Okay. Alright, there's the moon piece. So this one will be a little trickier. That's eh, not that much to Alright, that's fairly straightforward. Overshot it. Which, which one is it? That one. Those have already been taken, so I'm pretty sure if I go here... Speedy! Invisible Maze! I don't remember what this looks like. Okay, so you got some you got some time to make the run and it's not a hard jump. Let's go check out that other door. Oh, they don't even make me have to do the uh, wall jumps. Okay, cool. Bush. Boy, I wish he had the slide, man. Or, like, the launch. Or the belly slide, but... They took that out because it was so exploitable in Mario 64. That's why I never see it anymore. Oh, nothing behind it. Oh, uh, wait. going on. Alright, so this is like a bullet bill challenge. Thank goodness for the little flashlight to help, like, make me tell my direction. Oh, but there is that momentum. Which is kind of neat, like, it does feel like I am controlling, like, a rocket, I guess. On the right side, more coins. That's bad. Alright, I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on in the, um... With the multiple pathways, I don't know what the deal is with that. Oh. That was close. That was a save. I 
I making this left turn here? That's why the side path exists. They really gotta like use your boost, but try not to go out of control with it. There's a momentum. Oh, the real bullet bill runs out of it, uh, get fuel as well. That's just when Mario possesses him. Two in this maze. I'm gonna left six. I'm thinking there's probably two more in the town somewhere. Scarecrow. I can't talk to him yet. Until I melt everything. around here. Well, there's that. That looks pretty neat. Doesn't seem like I can get it, though. Yeah. That's not gonna work. There's a, a, a realistic human, which, that's really bizarre. Like, why? Hello, Weebotab. Hello, Weebotab, Aduba. Oh, okay, cool. Well, that's bizarre looking. Like, now Mario... <laughs> like... <laughs> huh. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't think they should have did that. That's just bizarre. Like, like Mario's human. Why have other humans but, like, more realistic humans when you have a cartoon version of a human like Mario? Did I read this yet? Roll. How do I do that? Oh, crouch down. And, oh, okay. Oh, neat. Now I'm Sonic. I can also hold Z and shake the controller. Oh, okay, I guess I'll go find your sheep. Yeah, this looks like one. I'm glad you put some barrels on him so I would know. How do I get him back to you? Oh, I know. Oh, no. I just murdered one. Not what I wanted to do. Okay, he comes back. Oh, I can't possess the sheep? I can only knock it around? Alright, well, I'm hurting it then. That's one. It can't be that far off, right? They wouldn't be cruel and put one, like, super far away. I don't know why this is blowing. What's the deal with this? Oh. Lost in the luggage. Okay, so five more. <laughs> Mario just abuses sheep. The sheep don't seem to mind that much, though. Poor guy. Oh, now he's like... Now he gains speed somehow? How do he do that? I mean, you'd think he'd be smart enough not to run into the cactus. Where's the last sheet? There's the Sphinx. I might go check that out. There might be something important there.
about the Sphinx? The Sphinx from Mario on the Game Boy. Oh, can I talk to it? Crazy treats. Right, hopefully it saves the sheep. I can go look for the sheep after I'm done with the Sphinx's riddle. Or not, there's no riddle at all. You just go in here and do that. Where's the last sheep? Just keep shaking the controller. It gets dirty though. Red car. This sheep is everywhere, isn't it? It's like all over the place. There it is. Come on, come on. Nope, nope, nope. nope. And he gives me the moon. Got three. I guess if you really wanted to 100%, you'd also get a hundred of those like uh, coins that are only in each level. But I'm not that obsessive. This is a, what is this train stop? I mean a bus stop? What? And I'll go for trying to get all the moons, but I don't, all the coins. I don't know about that. That's a little too much. Oh, they hurt me? I guess it makes sense, they have spikes. Another, like, bus stop thing. Okay, well, I can't do anything with it. But what is this? I guess to paint a picture with it. Something has to do with getting that moon. There's this thing. Maybe I'll ask this guy. Either that or I figure out a way to walk on this purple stuff. I can make these jumps though, so I'll go with that. Oh, and I screwed it up immediately. All I had to do was the long jump. Oh, from here? I do it all the time too, like I get it right every time except when I need it. Can I break the icicles with this? I don't think I can, but it's worth a shot. Nope. Oh, it's just a bird stuck in there. Okay, now that one, at least I did the jump. I'm gonna try one more time. And then I'll go in the inverted pyramid, because I think there's some moons I can't get until I do the inverted pyramid anyways. Why did he turn into a coin? Either that or the underground passage is this. No. Oh. Okay, so I gotta try to jump in the hole. What's up, Leilu? What's your opinion? Do you like uh, Italian stereotype Mario or Brooklyn Mario better? I'm I'm more I'm more with Brooklyn Mario, but you know, it seems that Italian stereotype Mario is what we got these days. Woo. There you go. I made it in the center. It's clearly a level. Okay, there's a pipe. Do, do. All these like remixes of classic Mario tunes. Okay, so it is slippery. So I, I can't mess around too much. Mario is Italian, yes. Um, though originally, like before Mario 64, there were the Mario cartoons. 
And in that one, he had a Brooklyn accent. Still Italian, but like American Italian, you know what I mean? And he, and he supposedly like modeled after a real guy in New York. Like back in the day when they made Jumpman. So he's supposed to have more of a New York Brooklyn accent, not necessarily like, you know, this sort of like, Mamma mia, I'm Italian, look at me, oh. Oh no, I'm gonna get to squashy. You know, like, he doesn't, he wouldn't really sound like that, he'd sound more like, hey, yo, I'm Mario, I'm Italian. Ah. Get on this butt plug here. And I'd be like, forget about it, I'm Mario. <laughs> and again, Nintendo also says some weird stuff about Mario. Like, I've always thought Mario was in his kind of like mid 30s, mid mid to early 40s, but apparently no, he's he's like 22 or something, something stupid like that. Oh, look at this. I I played a little bit of it before, but I never beat it. What the heck? Oh, the hat. Keep forgetting about that. So uh, I was in a, I was in the mood to play a Mario game, so I figured I'd play this one. How much you want to bet there's something secret above these pillars? Well, there's a bunch of coins, so let's go for that. Let's not get squashed though; that would be bad. Oh, you can get squashed from above too. Okay, yeah, never mind. <laughs> yeah, those coins aren't worth it. Is that it though? Is it just the coins? Let's see. We got that. I need a better view. I mean, the camera's are right. You got the right analog stick. I'm using the Pro Controller. So, you, you, you mainly do the do that. There's also, like, the Zelda 64. Like, if I press one of the bumpers, it switches to in front of me. Oh, it's the Puma Man. What is this? I guess he's a lion? Jaxi. Oh, of course. Oh, he's what you call a Jaxi. Oh, he's a taxi Jaxi. Nah, I'm okay. Yes. Alright, so now I'm only missing like two moons. Well, that's enough for, for a ride, isn't it? Is this never gonna stop? Okay, cool. Oh, he's like a quick travel. They're complaining about the camera? I mean, maybe in like- I mean, this is the beginning of the game, so I don't think it's like anything's really too hard to do, like the jumps and stuff. Here we go. Oh, he can go on the purple stuff. That means that I can enter this. Oh, his turn radius is awful. Oh, you killed us all! <laughs> Maybe I should have hit the brakes, huh? Alright, let's try it again. All right, okay, that's that, that's much easier to control. Let's get that stuff. What is this? What is, what is that? Oh, it's just like an acorn. Where can we plant this? I don't know! It's just an acorn over there. All right, we made it. Oh my god. Okay, so we, we really gotta master the Jaxi controls. I never really played Crash Bandicoot. I'm, I'm kind of don't know where to start with it. Like, should I get the remake? Even though the remake isn't the original and doesn't run off the same engine, or should I try to play the original PlayStation games first? I'm trying to get these purple, purple triangles. Oh, we need to get those purple triangles, damn it. Uh, ah! 
Do I still keep the triangles? Because I don't want to try to get them again. I do. Okay, good. I don't know if I have to get these rings, but... Eee. But people look happy with it? Yeah, but like, the people that are happy with stuff like that are people that are like, are happy with shit like Black Mesa and stuff like that, where they honestly don't know crap about gameplay and don't realize the differences in the remakes and like, the original games. Whereas I kind of do, so it's like, for me personally, like, the original game, like... Oh no, I haven't played the Team Racing one. I got Mario Kart. <laughs> Is it, is it any good? Like, I don't know. Oh my god. You know, because a lot of people, like, always always talk to me about, like, remade games and stuff. And it's like... Sometimes the problem is the game plays nothing like the original. You know, or it, it, it might be superior to the original, but sometimes, like... Sometimes I like to check out the original just to see, like, what, what all the fuss was about. You know, but like, there are people that just don't get nuances in gameplay. And I can understand that, like all they really see are graphics. Oh, I see, I gotta dismount. You know, because once you change a game, like what once... Like, even if you remake the levels exactly, the physics are slightly off, you know what I mean? Like, things are not exactly the same. And sometimes that could be a huge difference in the game, or like a minor difference. But it's still a difference, and it's like... So I don't know, maybe the remakes are really good. But, like, at the same time, it's like... They're, they're remakes of a certain game that's, like, famous, so it's like, I feel like I should play those games. It, it's hard to say, I'm not saying all remakes are terrible, because there's obviously the Resident Evil remakes. You know, which are pretty good. And then there's, like, the System Shock remake coming out and stuff like that, but part of me also kind of feels like, you know, can we make a new game? Like... Like, remaking an old- but then again, I guess with Crash Bandicoot, the thing about that is like, okay, now I can play it on Steam. Then the remaster, that's your opinion? Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Same thing with, like, the Tomb Raider, because there's the original Tomb Raider, and then there's, like, the Anniversary Edition Tomb Raider, or whatever. It's much easier on games like Tomb Raider or, or Crash Bandicoot. It, it's a real pain when it's RPGs, because RPGs are a huge time sink, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, you can't really play the, play. you have to pick one to play, right? And your options are either, should I play the remastered version or should I play the original version? And sometimes the remastered version is better in some ways and worse in others. Do I feel the, yeah, his movement is different. He's more momentum based. See, when he goes down and up hills, he slows down and speeds up a lot more. You know, like, um, Baldur's Gate, for instance, the enhanced edition of Baldur's Gate or whatever, I mean, the interface, the graphics are better, but I think they changed the voice actors. So you don't get the, um, you don't get the same voice actors, and that might not be a big deal for some people, and it might be a big deal for, like, a lot of people. Like, for some people, Imowen and, like, uh, certain characters sound the way they sound, and then they, like, play the game, and they're like, hey, wait, this is a different person entirely, what the heck? I guess I collected all the moons, huh? Yeah, they're all filled in, unless there's secret moons that don't show on the HUD. But yeah, going back to it, I guess with Crash, it's like, well, the only way you can really play the original one is by playing it on the PlayStation or buying, like, the PS1 version on the PS3 or something, right? And I believe the Crash remasters are also on Steam, so that allows a lot of people that don't have a PlayStation or don't care about having a console be able to play the remakes. Though it would be the ultimate package is if it had the remake and the original, and then you then it's like then it's like perfect, you know what I mean? I can't you can't go back to the original? Fair enough. And then you have some games that are like not remade but like updated. Um, you know, like Doom. You know, there's Doom 3, and then there's Doom 3 BFG edition, and then there's Bioshock, and then there's Bioshock HD or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like there's that stuff. 
speaking of PC games, I've been thinking about playing Oblivion again. But I also own Skyrim, and I've never played Skyrim. Why? Because I've been trying to beat Oblivion. So, what do you guys think? Do you think I should just play Skyrim? Or do you think I should just, like, you know, try to beat Oblivion first? I think I have all the DLC for Oblivion. You know, like Shivering Isles or whatever, or Shimmering Isles. I don't know about Skyrim. I'm not too familiar with it. I don't really know its uh, DLC. Am I underwater? No, it just look, kind of looks like I am. I don't have the wall jump in 2D. Oh, crap. Oh, I wasn't looking. I was, oh, I see. Gravity. Okay. You know, and like, remakes go back to even the Super Nintendo. I mean, I'm playing Mario, right? But we can talk about Mario All-Stars. Now, Mario All-Stars is pretty, pretty good. Like, the package and everything was one of the best Mario packages out there, because you get Mario 1, 2, 3, and the Japanese Mario, and there's also the version that has Super Mario World in it, and it has, like, updated graphics and all that cool stuff. The problem is, though, the physics are slightly different in the, in the original Mario game. Now, there's been a mod or a hack that fixes that, like the bounce back from the block, but overall, it, it does play slightly different than how the NES versions played. But that's like another example of like a remake that's like, eh. Do you play the original or do you play the remakes on the Super Nintendo? <laughs> I guess I could possess him. And then you have, like, remasters, you know, like StarCraft and Command and & Conquer got remastered, right? But in many ways, we needed that remaster because, number one, it was a pain in the ass to play Command & Conquer on, like, modern systems. Need a commitment? Yeah, you really do. Like, any RPG, you need to commit a lot of time. That's why I'm thinking, like, I might play Oblivion, because I already know how to play Oblivion. You know, the learning curve is gone. Like, you don't, you don't have to, like, learn a whole new system or, like, you know, new nuances and stuff, right? And I never beat Oblivion. Like, I, like, I bought it on the 360, like, a long time ago. But now I have access to the PC version that has, um, you know, I'm not gonna, like, mod the hell out of it. I'm just gonna, like, add bug fixes, you know. That would be the only mods I would put is, like, stuff that fixes, uh, graphical errors or, like, broken quest lines, stuff like that. But I won't add, like, you know, new companions or new maps or anything to it. I want to beat it, like, as it was shipped. As the majority of people who have played it have beaten it. Not that I hate mods or anything like that, it's like, I feel like you should beat a game first before you start modding the hell out of it. Also, mods can break the game, like, you can easily break your game with mods. Heck, the stream I did earlier today with Bridge Commander shows that when you put mods in it, that game becomes really unstable. Also, really unbalanced. Still fun, though. Still good mods, but I've beaten Bridge Commander, so... So modding that is not like, you know... Also, Bridge Commander's not a long game. It's like 12 hours long. I'm, I'm almost like halfway, like over 70% through it, I believe. Oh, she's got like a steel hat. Look out. She's Kung Lao. So I, let me guess. I knock her hat off. Nope. Okay, so I got to wait for her to do something then. And then, oh, I bounce these bombs back at her. That might be what I do. I got to get a good angle here. Oh, she's got a big ass bomb now. All right. Oh, this might be it. Now I now I jump on her. Like I do want to play some more, you know, like JRPGs as well as RPGs on stream as well. I just hope that I have more time off. Like right now I have three days off. So like today I'm gonna be doing, you know, like um I'm, I'll be playing the Switch. Tomorrow I'll try to do a guitar stream and work on guitar stuff, like make videos for YouTube. And then the next day I'll um, I'll stream games again. Oh, so you gotta wait for her hair to be tied up. 
Hopefully I can pull that off. Like... The only problem I see with me doing that is there's a lack of focus, but I guess the advantage is there's a lot of variety. Because I know other streamers, uh, you know, they schedule events, like days, you know, like, oh, today we're gonna do this, or, you know, every Thursday we play Daggerfall or something, right? And it's like, I, I really can't do that, because I don't really know, I don't, I play what I feel like playing, you know, like, I, um, it's hard to schedule your, your playtime, I guess. Like, it's like, oh, you know, I feel like playing Oblivion, or, oh, I feel like playing Civilization, or, oh, I feel like playing Mario. What kind of guitar stuff on YouTube? Oh, it's just me playing Rocksmith stuff. Though so when I make the video for YouTube, I usually just upload a song and mic the amp. So, so... Sometimes I highlight stuff from the stream, or sometimes I upload a full guitar stream. I still do that anyways, so why not, right? But... When I make guitar videos strictly just for YouTube, I try to put them, put them at like 1080p. And, um... You know, because I can afford to make the quality higher. How do I handle copyrights? Either YouTube blocks it or it doesn't. If it blocks it, then fine. You know, um, then I just wasted my time. If it doesn't block it, you know, that's cool. I don't care if I don't get the ad money. It's not like I'm going to make ad money anyways. I just care if people can see it. I've gotten a lot of copyright strikes, but it doesn't- they're not- there's no threat to take my channel down. It's just like, I just don't get the ad money. And it's like, alright. As long as people can see it, that's all I care about. And then so, but some things like- like Ozzy Osbourne songs, I can't upload a single one of those. They'll- they'll be immediately blocked, and nobody can see them, so they're just kind of a waste of my time. Which sucks, because I really like to play Randy Rhodes stuff. So certain bands and stuff, I just won't even bother uploading to YouTube because I know, I know the copyright holders will immediately block it. Metallica, oddly enough, does not block it. Um, they just take all the ad money and I'm like, alright. That also leads to, like, another game I want to stream is Grand Theft Auto, but we all know Grand Theft Auto, you know, the radio stations, right? So the way around that is because YouTube will, will block the video, but YouTube also has a feature where it will mute out the music, but still, like, keep the other sound effects on just the copyrighted bit. So that might be a way I can at least, like, upload and do Grand Theft Auto Let's Plays. Because I really like the Grand Theft Auto games. I like, I like games where I get to, like, drive around... You know, different handling, stuff like that. And GTA, like, that's what's fun about GTA is the vehicles. Speaking of GTA, this is kind of GTA-like. I mean, I go around this open world and then I hijack people with my hat. And I get access to different modes of play. Yeah, I, I'm st I started a GTA 5 Let's Play, like, a long time ago, like a year and a half ago. That I could pick up again, like, on the PC. I beat that on the 360, like, right when it came out. And obviously, there was no PC version at that point, but... The one I'm streaming is the PC version. I was also playing on the PS2, um, Vice City Stories, you know, that, like, prequel to Grand Theft Auto Vice City that's only on the PS2 and PSP. And I like that one. I mean, it's not as good as Vice City, but then again, what is? Then again, I wouldn't mind replaying Vice City. I've beaten Vice City on PC and, like, PS2. And I still don't know what version to really play. Like, the PC version, don't get me wrong, like, you know, looks better, has better frame rate, but... It's... it's like, there's no analog control, so you can't really, like... You have to drive the car with the keyboard, and that's not... For me, driving the car with the keyboard sucks. I don't want to drive a car with the keyboard. I want to drive a car with analog sticks. I want analog steering. Oh my god, zombies! Oh, it's a Dia de los Muertos! Oh no! Alright, where am I going? What? 
I, I don't I have enough star power? Didn't we? Didn't I beat the boss? What's what's happening? Oh, I gotta go underneath the pyramid now. Oh, that's what's going on. Okay, I might as well explore some other stuff. Also, GTA 5 is really good. Like, I like the driving in GTA 5. I like the highways. GTA 4's driving, I thought was a step back. I thought the cars were like, you, you know, like you hit a curb and then a car just like bounces around. It's nuts. But I also wouldn't mind replaying GTA 4 as well. Right, let's see what's over there. I guess I gotta unfreeze the switch. I mean, I got all the moons, unless there's like secret moons that aren't on the um, on the HUD. Or maybe it leads to more purple triangles. Yeah, Vice City's pretty good no matter w uh, which version you play. Though I do know that there's like mods for the PC version that like um, make it like number one more playable, but also upgrades the graphics. Not like GTA 5 quality graphics, but it like adds the graphics that were in the mobile releases of the games. But I could just say screw it and just play the PS2 version because I have the PS2 version and it's way easier to just stream that. And everything works the way it works, because the original, like, GTA 3 through San Andreas on the PC has always been kind of weird, because it has mouse aiming, and the original games do not have, like, freeform aiming. And certain things don't don't work that should work, you know, like stick-ups. That requires a lock-on. So you have to, like, change your aiming controls anyways. Like, it basically the game was designed for console. It's just better to try to play it on console. I it just play it on the PS2. That that's what it was designed to be played on. But the good thing about GTA 5 and GTA 4 is I can just use my Xbox controller. So that so basically my complaint about not being able to use analog controls for driving uh aren't a problem in those games. And they're much better PC ports, too, than the GTA 3 from San Andreas. I think Rockstar got better at multi-platform. Ah! Not amazingly better, though, because they still have problems. Pretty busy here. I didn't want to become a Goomba. I wanted to kill him. Oh, they don't slip on ice. Okay, well, that's interesting. I wanted to do this. Let's see. So now we know that Goombas, Goombas don't slip on ice. Oh, the Resident Evil 2 remake? At some point, I'm gonna get that. Look, they made a Goomba tower. Why? I don't know. Goombas, man. I never understand them. Whee! They don't jump as high as Mario, that's for sure. Alright, so I need him to get those triangles. I just haven't been in the mood to play, like, shooters lately. This is the thing. Also, like, I'm waiting for Resident Evil to go on sale. Does this work for him? Alright, I guess I'll just commit genocide now. Alright, you ready? Here we go. So just run out of ideas. 
I mean, for the most part, I think Nintendo's been pretty good with their console design recently. I mean, the Switch was a nice idea. The idea of a portable and a dock. I mean, that, that was basically the complaint of the Wii U, right? It's like, why isn't it just a portable? As for gameplay ideas, I don't know. I mean, they, they always seem to... I don't think Mario will change that much in the future. I think it'll just be more like minor minor changes, you know, like th like how the gimmick in this game is I can control other characters. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'll always be doing the jumps. I've never played the Mario Maker games, though. Maybe I should get that on the Switch. And, and see what that what the hubbub of that is all about. See what user-made levels. But what turns me off about Mario Maker is that a lot of it just seems like... Because I had Little Big Planet on the PS3, right? A lot of it, a lot of the levels are hit or miss. Some of them are just flat out boring, and then some of them are just too hard. I also had Bob Nation Racers on the PS3, which was like basically Mario Kart, but you can make your own levels. And that one, that one was sort of hit and miss too. That's the problem with user-made content sometimes. It's like, you see, you find some good stuff, but then you find a lot of crap. <laughs> like... Yeah, I, I know a lot of people, like, um, have a lot of fun playing the really, really ridiculously hard levels of Mario Maker. Let's go. Whee! Oh my god, it's, it's the hand from Smash Brothers, isn't it? Oh, it's like that bad guy in Zelda 64, the Ongo Bongo guy or whatever. Here, hit this. What is that? Is that a fish? Okay, oh, he hurts himself when he does the ice. Alright, so then I go up here. And then I punch him in the face, I guess. Alright, so it's the same controls as the, um... As the bullet build. Oh, this is kind of a fun little boss fight. Whee! No, the one thing I do like about Nintendo, though, is, um... You know, they, 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 they're not really keen on using the most advanced technology, you know? Like, they're not all about graphics and ray tracing and stuff. They just figure out how to make, like, solid gameplay. You know, or, like, really change up gameplay mechanics. Like, they actually make games. You know, which I know sounds, like, ridiculous, because it's like, What do you mean? All games are games. It's like, not necessarily. Some games are just, you know, like, some games are very generic, some games kind of follow, like, like, typical adventure style, or like, you know, open world kind of like, you do nothing in it, or like, survival game kind of stuff, right? Where there's no gameplay, it's basically just, like, lots of grinding, there's no, like... It's hard to describe, I mean, there is gameplay in those games, but it's not like... It's not like stuff like this, where you're, like, using Twitch reflexes to avoid stuff and everything, you know what I mean? Like, it's more... You know, or like, or like a generic military shooter, you know what I mean? It's like, there's not... The game playing that is you point a mouse and you shoot. Alright, we got it. You know, every level kind of feels the same, because you do the same thing over and over and over again. Um, Nintendo doesn't seem to like to do that. They come up with um, some interesting boss fights or some interesting mechanics, like Mario Galaxy, the whole, like, planet thing. Some say Ratchet and Clank did it first, but Ratchet and Clank, I don't know, I... Those games don't feel like Mario. The, the movement speed of Mario is way better. Oh, I just paid that. Not a thousand. So should I keep exploring with the melted ice? The new IP? The thing is, does anyone care about Nintendo's new IPs? Like, I mean, I guess people like Splatoon, right? Like, that's a new one. Okay, wait, what does this thing say? 16 more? Okay. Alright, it looks like there are hidden moons, because I have extra moons.
The funny thing is, like, I consider Luigi's Mansion a new IP, but that came out, like, during the GameCube era. Oh, I screwed that up. But at least Nintendo knows how to leverage its IP. It's not like Sega that's like, all right, we got a whole new generation of consoles. All right, just keep making Sonic games, and then that's it. Like, like well, well, we got all these other games. It's like, no, we'll just make Sonic games. And then random games that nobody cares about. Because, like, you remember how badly they screwed up the Sega Saturn? Like, what were they thinking with that? The Sega Saturn has, like, almost no games from the previous generation. It doesn't have a Streets of Rage, it doesn't have a, um... It doesn't have a Sonic, you know, it doesn't have, like... Like, all these staple games, like Shinobi... Well, it does have a Shinobi, okay, I'll give it that. There is a Shinobi game on the Sega Saturn. The Dreamcast was the same way, too. It's like, Sega's like, yeah, we wanna, like, not do the same games. And then look where that got him, so... Maybe Nintendo's gotta... Got a reason to release a Mario every time, and, or like a, um, or Mario Kart every time, you know. All Sega did, it had great franchises. There should have been an, um, you know, an outrun. What is that thing on the ground? Can I hit it with the... I mean, you can see it. It's like a sand thing. Oh. I mean, yes, there was a port of the original arcade outrun on the Saturn. But my point is, there should have just been out like a new outrun or a new hang on or like you know. Do I have something on my nose? Oh, I got a cactus thorns on my nose. Is he gonna pull those out? No, he's just gonna keep them there. All right. Oh. The, the hat jump is so hard for me. I don't know why. Like, you gotta- first you gotta get the range correctly. And then you die. That's pretty much it. All their money on Shinmu. Yeah, but that was Dream- well, then again, it was in development when the Saturn was out, so... I'm like a Roomba. Oh no, it's Amiibo crap. I don't care. No, I don't. I don't buy that shit. No. I'll go buy them used at a garage sale. That's how much I care about your amiibos. What is this then? A lot of the problem with Sega 2 is the miscommunication between Sega of Japan and Sega of America. Like, like they, they, like they had two different visions for the company. And also Sega had, like, Sega was really betting on arcades a lot. They were kind of all over the place, they didn't really focus. There's, there's a bunch of reasons why Sega kind of... Alright, so stickers. And a model. Okay, cool. What's this? I don't want snapshot. No. But yeah, not utilizing their IPs. Really? I still don't have a thousand? The online balloon mode. What? In... In Crazy Taxi? What do you mean in this game? Ah. Get up there. Yes. Alright, I gotta make him spin, which is a pain in the butt, because you have to use the motion controls. There's no button that does it. Oh, that's neat. Oh, yeah, it's unlocked? I know there's like a super hard-ass level that unlocks. Spin, you... Alright, oh, okay. Use the, use the analog stick, never mind. Oh, it's... It, you hide a balloon? Can I not do it when I jump on this? I guess not. Alright, well, you can just make the jump anyways. And now I can get the ones in the fountain.
There's also this rocket ship up here. Ah! We can, we can do this. Oh, that's okay. Even the rocket has a mustache. Did I play hat in time? What is that? Like, I haven't played much of Mario Odyssey, like, almost at all. I think I got to the second world last time I played it, and then that was kind of it. Oh god. How am I gonna get those? Oh, I, I see. We'll wait for this next rotation. Now I can get them. This is Mario Galaxy type stuff. A hat in time does sound familiar though. I just forget what it is. Let's do that. You know, someone's made like a Mario 64 hack that kind of plays like Odyssey. And I also hear there's a lot of things going on in Mario 64, like, porting, because, you know, they found the source code for Mario 64 and someone's actually making a... a PC port of it. Not like an emulator, but like a full-ass port. And that's kind of rejuvenalized... Re, rejuven... Uh, you know, like... It's given more energy back to the Mario 64 modding community. Gotta get those coins. No! I gotta wait a... Oh. Maybe this time. This time I'll, I'll try to get on it. Like, there we go. So that means that, like, people can play, like, Mario 64, like, perfectly now on the PC. But also have, like, added stuff to it, you know, like, uh, like, native 60 frames per second. Without messing up the physics, things like that. That's what happens when we have the source code. Hmm. Can I become electricity? You're being attention to the step. Well, that, that's also because Valve doesn't make games anymore. They just like have Steam, and then they wait for the community to make something, and then they're like, "That looks, sounds like a good idea. Let's make, let's sell it." Hence Black Mesa. Hence uh, Portal. Oh, is this acorn thing? I guess we plant him here, huh? Oh. I guess I gotta like I gotta I gotta nail the throw. All right, so I gotta find three acorns. The first one's there to tell me that that's where you put the acorns. So now I know that. I know where one acorn is. It's around that temple. So there's like a third acorn hidden somewhere that I'll get to. I don't need to get to it. I mean, I can just leave. Like I got. I can just go to the next level, but I don't know, you know. Part of me is compelled to try and find everything. That's the thing about, like, Nintendo games. It, it's like, you have to... It kind of, like, makes you have to be, like... Uh... Very anal about collecting everything. 
you know, and finding everything. Can I just become pure energy? Because why do we have, like, electric things here? I guess as I can. It all started with, like, Mario 64. You gotta get all 120 stars. There we go. Oh, there's a moon thing right there. This goes all the way up to the top, and then there's also one that goes all the way over there. Alright, I'm just gonna go to the next level. I can always come back here. But yeah, this seems like a game that has a lot of stuff if you want to try to get 100% on it. Is this guy... So we... Uh, so let's get this straight. We have cartoon skeletons, Mario, and then just a normal looking dude with a taxi that could no way in hell drive out here in the desert like this. I mean, yeah, sure, Nintendo. Sure. I guess I'll talk to... I tried to talk to the guy, but only the skeleton guy is saying something. It's some kind of magical taxi that can drive all the way out here. Like, you know what? You think, like... You, know, you remember when Sega made Sonic Adventure and then all of a sudden there were humans in the Sonic world? This is just as stupid. Like, so now there's, like, normal-looking people and then there's, like, Mario who's not normal-looking at all. Like, that's even more confusing. That Technically, Sonic Adventures makes more sense, I guess, because at least Sonic is an anthropomorphic hedgehog and not supposed to be a person. Here, there's toad people and shit, and then there's, like, a real person, and it's just like, what the fuck? No! You're gonna starve, because your business is gonna make no money from me. Alright, let's do this. I don't want to- oh, okay. Alright, it splits off. Okay, either... I mean, I guess I can always go back to these. You know, I never did... Well, I think what happens is if I do this one, I do this one anyways, later. I'm gonna go to the Lake Kingdom. I did the Wood Kingdom last time, but I also remember going to the Lake Kingdom, so it's not like you can't go there. I mean, that's kind of what he's doing. I like how Mario is just kind of not interested in it, like anything he says. He's just sort of like, hey look, I'm just here for one purpose, man. Like, it's so awkward watching him and Mario hang out, drinking tea out of hat cups. Oh, okay, he's getting a wedding gown, all right. Lake Lamode. Where the Zoras live? No, I'm just kidding, there's not Zoras here. That would be really weird. I mean, everything else is perfectly normal, like bunnies flying on um, flying ships, but man, if they added Zoras in this game, I'd just lose my mind.
What? What the? Grab it. Grab it. It's like a, it's like a roll of coins. Oh my god. Remember, you used to get that in the bank. Like. <laughs> Crab. All right, what's this fish lady? Oh, son of a bitch! I've stolen that. My, it's a tragedy. Oh no! How would a fish dress fit Peach? Oh, well, let's use this. Yeah, that's where we're going. Us. I, I don't even know what to say. Why? Oh, that one's worded too. Okay, I guess it's not that weird then. Are they the brides of these three Goombas? Do Goombas even get married? Using uh, another swimming fish lady. This leads to a lot of questions. Do Goombas have families? I'm a zipper now. Of course. And again, I was... I guess I don't know anything about Goombas. Wait, can I take control of the fish lady? I guess not, she's underwater. How about that fish lady? Because you gotta figure I can dive underwater, but I gotta be like a fish, right? So let's... No. There's a the crab. Oh look, there's Raccoon Mario. Oh, he can just sink. Jumping on everything he finds. And everything seems to have the same weakness too, jumping on it. He just sinks. He doesn't dive, he, he just flat out sinks. He swim, but nah, that makes me jump. That's what makes him the champion of the Mushroom Kingdom. That, that's why Peach keeps picking him. behind these pillars and there's another jump but I don't know all Luigi does is bust ghosts what an odd stone I mean it is like can't break it can't push it Oh wait, let's get these coins. All right, let's wall jump to get the coins. You know, another Mario game that I have that I, I have only played like one level of is Super Mario Galaxy 2. That's another one I want to check out because it has Yoshi in it. They knew, they knew they were on to something with Mario Galaxy, because that thing got like a sequel like a year after. And in my opinion, Mario Galaxy is like one of the best 3D Mario games. Like, it's up there with Mario 64. Guess I just sink? Oh, there's like oxygen or water bubbles. Or air bubbles, I'm sorry. Air bubbles underwater. Go there. Go there. Oh my god. He sinks a lot quicker than I would expect him to sink. It's not like the old 2D Mario games. He doesn't sink that fast.
Has Nintendo announced a new, like, sequel or a new Mario game on the Switch, or are they just gonna go with one? I feel like they should- they should have at least two Mario games on it. It's a successful system. And usually how it goes is when they have a successful, like, system, they usually make at least two Mario games for it. Though the NES, I think, still has the most with three. I mean, the GBA might have more, but that's- a lot of those are remakes, so I don't really count that. There was another path. I want to take that path. Hopefully I have enough air. Yeah, what's up here? Nothing! I'm dead! I'm gonna die! We gotta get Mario's drowning animation. Okay, so he can still last a little bit longer. Okay. He's got some leeway. I don't know if I can make it though. No, he's dead! Ah! I could have possessed the fish, I just realized that. It was too late though. Like, I was- I was already... I, I, okay, so I kept all the crap I got. Like, I, I still got those two moons. Back to this. I might switch out and play some Mario Kart online, though. Even though I normally don't play online games when I stream because of the lag, I don't think the lag will really affect my Mario Kart experience at all. You know, it's not like a fighting game or something like that. Like, it's a racing game, so it's like... Though even if it is, like, laggy because I'm streaming, it's like... It's still quite playable. I think that's the game I play the most on the Switch. Alright, let's try to get one of these fish. There we go. Alright. Dive and surface. So they're like submarines? <laughs> what, is, what is with this movement? What? Oh, hey, there's that Nelly from the N64 game. Oh, he's got a spin attack? The heck? Alright, let's, let's grab stuff. I guess that's all. I don't think I can get in there, right? I don't think so. The one game I want to get on the Switch is the Mario is Luigi's Mansion 3, but I have to beat Luigi's Mansion, Luigi's Mansion 2 first on my 3DS. Then again, maybe I could stream Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube, but then I'd have to get it. And it's like I don't know. It's like 20 bucks used. Oh, they, oh, it's just on the back, okay. I'm guessing I have to explore above as well. Or the other three parts, the other three moon parts. There's a zipper over there, that must do something. That bird. I don't know how that bird ended up there. Can I do my attack? How did, how did I do that spin thing? Oh, like that. Okay. You rotate the analog stick. I have become a zipper! Uh, hopefully it saves the moons I collected. I think it does. I 
vaguely remember this. Key. Okay, well, a keyhole. Presumably, I need a key. In fabric land. Can I make that jump? That's. I think I can make that. It's got to jump at the very last second. Or not. Nope. Triple jump, baby! The triple jump doesn't have a lot of- it has a lot of height, but it doesn't have a lot of, um... It's not- it's not that good horizontally. So the range kind of sucks on it. Let's see. Yeah, it's not the- a long jump is still the best one to use, I just can't get it, so... Maybe the hat jump? You know, like you jump on the hat? But even then, I don't think, like... Unless I can do the long jump off the hat jump, which I don't think I can, or at least I'm not good enough to do it. No, see, I tend to... He just bounces off immediately on the hat. Oh, crap. Stupid camera. Okay, that was one time the camera screwed me, but that was my fault. I took a leap of faith instead of, like, re-centering re the camera myself. What? Oh, well, that makes it way easier. Now that's a first. I've never seen that before, but okay. Oh, I was like, well, what's the point of that? I'm a zipper now. Super secret zipper. Okay. Now where am I? Is this the beginning of the Oh, it's... Okay. Another thing I want to play on stream is Mario RPG. Like, I have the Super Nintendo cartridge. I hope the save... The, the saves still work. That, that's what worries me about it, because, like, maybe the save battery's dead on it and I can't save games anymore. And I can't just run that game on my flash cart. My flash cart doesn't support, like, the SA chip or whatever that uh, Mario RPG uses. Maybe there's a way to replace the battery. Maybe it's like a simple watch battery. All I gotta do is take off, uh, take the cartridge apart. But if it requires any soldering, I'm screwed. Hey, what's up, Core? How are you doing? How's your day going? Oh, there's the key. There's a key and a big zipper. Let's get the key. Alright, alright, it gives us a moon. Now let's, now let's use the zipper. Oh, you're going to Houston? Pretty hot now in Texas, isn't it? <laughs> like, it's been like 100 degrees some days. Oh, I've been doing alright. I got three days off, so... I'm gonna spend the first day, like, you know, streaming um, some games. Hopefully tomorrow I'll try to do some guitar stuff and upload stuff to YouTube. It's been a while. Like, guitar videos strictly just for YouTube. Yeah, it's, it's probably really hot. I got the air conditioner turned on. <laughs> like... Like, basically, once it's about 10 a.m., the air conditioner is always on. Until, like, about 5 p.m. Was that the level? 
was the level, right? That's that's the end? I guess so, yeah. Because that's the end right over there, so... I guess I can leave this level now. I mean, I, I, I will also try to do a guitar stream. Like, my plan is to upload... Like, if I do a guitar stream, upload the guitar stream, but then also just do, like, single songs and mic up the amp correctly for YouTube. Uh, but I will also upload the, the guitar stream as well to YouTube. Because I might as well upload the live stream anyways, you know what I mean? Also, it's a good way for me to check what songs YouTube's gonna block. And then I'll know, like, oh, okay, well, I, there's no point in me trying to play this song um, or practice this one because YouTube's just gonna block it anyways. Like Fire Woman by the Cult, uh, YouTube blocks. I have to trim that out of every live stream I upload. Down here. What determines what is blocked? I I think it's per record company or the company that owns the rights, the copyrights. Some of them are more like. Um, some of them are like, you know, they'll they'll still allow the video to work, but they'll just take your ad money. And I'm okay with that. It's the ones where they just block it entirely, like the video can't be viewed by anybody. For instance, I have been trimming my that guitar stream that I did on my birthday in February. I'm still trimming it down to try and like get rid of the copyright claims because it's blocked. So I've taken a four hour stream and I trimmed it down to about two and a half hours and it still has like three or four songs that are blocked on it that I have to keep trimming down. And I've been doing that for like, I've been using YouTube's trimmer. I don't, I don't use a video editor, right? But it's been taking me that long just to trim out the stuff that's been blocked. And it still isn't available to the public yet. That's why it only has like three views. Because those three views are me. There's something in here. I don't know how to get there, though. Oh, that's how. Oh, it's not a moon? That sucks. Become a fish. Oh yeah, YouTube, basically YouTube won't tell me if something's blocked until after I go through all the trouble of uploading it. You know what I mean? Like, so like after like, um, uploading something and taking like an hour or even two hours to work on something, because like, let's say it takes me eight or ten minutes to play the song, right? Record it. And then, you know, with minimal amount of editing, then upload it. The upload could take like 40 minutes and then it gets processed, that could take like 30 minutes. And then after all that, and then it's like, oh yeah, video cannot be de be viewed. It is kind of annoying. It's also stupid in my opinion because, you know, I get I get the copyright. I'm not saying copyright holders shouldn't get paid for for their content or anything like that, but it's not like I'm uploading a movie. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm uploading the entirety of a movie or the entirety of a um, what's it called? of a song, like, even then the song is basically altered anyways, like, if people want to just hear the original song, why don't they just go to, like, the official, like, YouTube video of it? Why watch my video of it, you know? People are probably watching my video because they want to hear somebody play over the music, or somebody's own take on the music. I'm not the only one that deals with this problem, like, other YouTubers that, like, play guitar or do music, they all have to deal with it. Even if they, even if they just... Even if it's just them with like an acoustic guitar singing the song and it's a cover, they still have to deal with this copyright nonsense. And, I, and the same logic applies there. If people wanted to hear an acoustic cover of like a Metallica song, or if people wanted to hear the original Metallica song, why wouldn't they just read, you know, look up a video of the original Metallica song? Why would they, um... Can I become this? He's got a hat on, so he's immune to my hat powers. You know, I can understand if I took the song and it's entirely ripped it right off the CD and just put that on YouTube, which people do, by the way. You know, um, and then you get a copyright strike for that and it gets blocked or whatever, but it's like, when you're doing a cover or playing over something or talking over something or like, you know, make, like, basically altering the original content in some way, 
Like, I feel like that's not really gonna hurt the bottom dollar because if people want to hear the original, they're just gonna get the original. They're not gonna, like, watch your video or your cover of it or, like... It, you know, same thing with movies. If people are gonna watch a movie, they're not gonna watch, like, a review of the movie. They're gonna watch the movie. They're not gonna, like... Does it matter if so-and-so used clips of a movie or, or, or a TV show in their video review? But a lot of a lot of that, uh, especially with the video game reviews and the movie reviews, a lot of that is just like um, using copyright as a way to censor things, like you know, bad opinions about movies and stuff. So they'll just hide behind the copyright thing and be like, "I get the bottom notes." I don't think. Oh, I missed those. Oh, and now the thing doesn't come back? What? Do I gotta exit and come back and then it's there? Okay, it's there. Alright. I also hate to say it too, but people find a way around the copyright bots as well. You know, they're like... They'll do that thing where they upload a whole movie, but they, they reverse it. Like, they make it... You know, they reverse the horizontal plane. Or they'll, like, pitch shift it, or they'll put it in a little window, you know? So it's like... Which sadly means that uh, the, the copyright bots get even stronger, and then they start blocking crap that's like, you know, fair use stuff. Like, again, like movie reviews and stuff. Or what if I was, like, teaching you how to, like, what, what if I had, like, a, a YouTube thing where I'm a guitar player and I teach you a song, right? Like, like, I'm not even playing the song. I'm just showing you, like, here's the tablature, and then here's how you play the riff. You use this finger, and then you switch over, right? Those guys also get copyright striked, and that's kind of stupid. Because they're not even, like, I mean, yeah, they're playing a part of the song, but they're, like, their video isn't the song. You know, no one's gonna go and watch that video to listen to the song. They're gonna watch that video. It's like, how do you play this one part in Crazy Train? Or how do you do that? Guess I already got those. I'm missing, like, one moon here. Or did I already get it? Okay, okay, so the moons are definitely underwater, because once I go underwater, the moon thing shows up. The moon counter? That means I'm missing one under here. I gotta find it. There it is. How do I get in there? Okay, well, don't run into people, that's one way. Alright, I'll just... I'll just unfish. I still need to get on the top, though, I guess. Well, there isn't... there is an entrance. Alright, well, we got that one. I break this rock. Can't do it with that, so... I want to talk- okay. Talking about the dress. Here's that bird. I like how they gave him that hat, too. I'm lucky, right? Because, like, a lot of people, like, especially, like, full-time YouTubers, they live off the ad money they make off of YouTube. 
So that's why they won't make videos like... They'll purposely avoid making videos of stuff that they're like, they'll get their ad money taken away. You know what I mean? But me, I don't have that restriction because I don't care. As long as the video is still up, that's all I care about. It, it's why certain guys like, um, like Angry Joe, for instance, he'll never play a Switch game. Or review a Switch game. Play balloons? Oh, I haven't unlocked that. Nothing. Secret room? This is kind of my... my first, um... Playthrough basically because the last time I played it, I never beat it I just kind of played a little bit of it when I first got it now. I've decided to Play a little bit of it. I I want to beat it though. I think I can this time not not during this stream or this session oh. It's just water that somehow is in that pillar, okay Okay. Alright, so I gotta dress like a swimmer. So I have to do the, um... I have to do the shopping minigame. Right, what are the ones I can buy with just these coins? Oh, a rubber dory, that'd be pretty cool. W where are these things stored? Alright, well, I guess with well, dress like a swimmer, I gotta get this. And then I gotta. Yeah, change it, sure. And then I gotta get this. Perfect. And I can still run around just perfectly fine with the flippers. Even with the snorkel, like, I can breathe just fine. Okay. So, so this person just... Oh, that's not what I wanted. I want to talk to this one. With the gold hat. Okay, so this this person sells like the like that's like sold everywhere. All right, let's just buy that. I don't swim any better. Oh wait, the reason I got dressed. I forgot. I want to get those, those scales, if I can just... If I could dangle a bit, I could get him. There we go. She opened it with her mind powers. Now I can become the mannequin. No? Oh, okay. You have to hold the button down? probably play as well um, at some point as City Skylines. That's a good relaxing game. I already talked to you. I don't know why you have like the good explanation point. And then 
Mario drowned in the well. I'm gonna die before I make it to the bottom. Okay, so I definitely have to be a fish. All right, let's get out of here. Not gonna make it. No, he's not gonna make it. Yo, he's dead. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no, in the bottom of the well. Yeah, Skylines is pretty fun. I mean, like you know, it's basically SimCity. And it's probably the best you're gonna get from modern SimCity, because like, you know, SimCity 4 is kind of disappointing. Alright, I gotta go become a fish. It's this button to die. Okay, we're good to go. There's probably more like moons or whatever to unlock, but how did Toad get down here? Have they released the the Toad game that was on the Wii U on the Switch yet? I don't have a Wii U. That's why I'm asking. Like, that's right, be afraid! Be afraid of the fish. Why are you afraid of it? I mean, like, what's the fish gonna do? It's... Oh, crap. Oh, cameo from Captain Toad. Alright, well, I get a power move. I like how Toad tries to steal my spotlight. Hey. No photobombing while I get the moon, okay? I guess the next thing is try to figure out how to break that rock. Oh, there's like a bubble. Why is there a bubble? Weird. Okay, sure. Did they? Oh, his sprite changes too? <laughs> well, okay, I did not know that. So even so the sprite also has outfits. Wait, no, that's just where I was. Okay, there's a wall jump over here. Alright, not even, it's a flower. I drowned him. Hey. Is this like a warp? It is. It is a warp. Okay. But it's a warp back to the desert place. I've injured the wormhole. I have become the emissary. <laughs> I always forget on the controller B is before A. I mean, that's how it's always been on Nintendo systems, but it's still kind of like.
Two other games I have on the Switch. I have like the Raving, uh, the Rabbids game. I hear that one's pretty good. It's like a tactical game, like XCOM. <laughs> Which you don't expect. I really want to play more of that too. Uh, just pound the mound. Oh my god. Zipper. <laughs> Is the Witcher on the Switch now? Because that would be interesting to play that, but in portable mode, you know, like take that to work and play it on my lunch break. Then again, I guess if I played that, like, I should stream it. Yeah, maybe that'd be a bad idea to get it on the Switch. Better to get it on the PC. This one's up here. Yeah, I've got the secret path. So how do I get up in that area? Something to do with the ceiling, maybe? Yeah, it looks like it. There's like this column. So I don't know how to destroy that rock, though. Like how he makes like duck feet sounds with the flippers. Make it, make it, make it. Hm. Oh, you think so? You, th you think the outfits actually do stuff? They're not like just visual? It's possible. Because I just thought they were like just visually like different. I didn't think they actually gave me new abilities. Oh, you know nothing? Uh, then we're on equal footing then. All I know about this game is what I know from previous Mario games. <laughs> oh, okay. Will that activate him? It does. I mean, I could just do that. That works too, it looks like. Man, I might actually get all the scales in this level. It's not where I wanted to go! Oh, okay, cool. What is with the weird effect on these blocks when I run? And now I'm playing Valve's version of Mario, what? Oh, why? Not the best. Let's try this out again. Out here? Perfect. It's a good thing I went there first. It's 
like an infestation. You know, another game, I, I know we were, I think we were talking about Knights earlier, either like this stream or, or the last, but another game that was cool on the Saturn was Burning Rangers. I've only played the first level of that, but like, I want to play more of that. That was like, that was like the last big game on the Saturn by Sonic Team. I don't know why I'm thinking about that while I do this. Oh, it's an elevator. Oh, crap. Now I'm thinking about pilot wings. Pocket fighters? Oh, the, you mean you mean the one that's like um, the chibi versions of Street Fighter, but it's a fighting game, not not the Puzzle Fighter one. Though it's the same sprites used in the Puzzle Fighter one. That game's pretty neat because it uses the RAM cartridge, so it like has like a lot of great animations. The Saturn had some pretty good Capcom 2D fighting games. The sad part is, though, some of the best ones were only in Japan, like X-Men vs. Street Fighter. I mean, PlayStation got it, but the PlayStation version of that game sucks. Like, it's missing a lot of animations and a lot of features. The Saturn version, though, is pretty much arcade perfect. How is this guy talking like this? Oh, here we go. He's like, you're real pretty, Mario. You've got a pretty mouth and a pretty mustache. All right, I think I hit him when he throws the hat, right? Nope. Okay, I jump on him when he throws. Do I shoot the hat? I shoot the hat. Oh, he's too tall for me to jump on normally. I see. But then you you have to use the hat. He'll never get me alive. What does Mario have against bunnies and rabbits? Like, remember Mario 64, you had to capture that MIP rabbit? Which was named after, like, a programming API or something? <laughs> Brutals! That was very- that was a brutal fight, is what that was. I guess we don't need to be in this level anymore, huh? The Odyssey has powered up! Now I gotta go to the wood area. Yeah, so it was like no choice at all. It's like, which level did you want to do first? It's like, I guess we'll just do that one first. How many sticks do I have left? Like two. Oh no. Hey, 
Now this scene's even funnier. <laughs> Spin throw. Oh, meet a queen up. Mother of Tizzy. It's ready. It says it's a motion control, sometimes it won't work. Steep in a pain now. Whoa, nobody in the reba. You know, next time I have the Wii hooked up, we're playing Punch Out. I just remembered that. Go to Sky Garden! I like how the indigenous people here are robots. Robots in the wood area. Wait, there's a cliff over here. Oh, you can like purple nuts. Not like nuts is in acorns, nuts is in nuts and bolts. Self-stealing stem bolts, to be more exact. What's up here? <laughs> oh, but then there's like a biodome kind of thing going on, because we can see the, the windows. Oh, that's a game I can play on the PS3. I... I gotta, like... Because I hear you can't stream the PS3 because of, like, HDMI or whatever. Like, it has some kind of copy protection. But I think if I run it through the Frame Meister and use the Frame Meister as a pass through, it'll get rid of the copy protection. <laughs> and then I'll and then I can just stream the PS3 easily. Because at some point I will play Metal Gear Solid 4. Nuns of the Patriots. Alright, here we go. So I'm like a plant thing. And I can stretch. Okay, he stretches and then jumps. I'm assuming I stretch on this. No, that does nothing. He walks slower when he stretches. Oh, there's some bolts. Okay. I gotta look up here. What, what else is around here? That looks like a ledge. It's too high up, though. Yeah, it's too high. Ledge is on the tree, though. The only thing I'm afraid of with my Saturn is that it's a CD system, right? So it's like... My CD systems tend to, like... Tend to be very fragile. Like, so in other words, sometimes the game, like, won't load or skip or, you know, stuff like that will happen. The cartridge-based systems I have, no, they're rock solid. Like, nothing's wrong with them at all. I'm kind of glad the Switch is, like, you know, uses cards instead of, like, a CD. That, that means that it'll almost always work. Like, even 20 or 30 years from now, I don't have to worry about the disk drive breaking. Like, with the Wii, like, when, when that disk drive spins up, it's so loud, and I'm like, oh man, that thing's gonna die at any point. It's scary. Another Sphinx, huh? Okay. And, like, I'm already experiencing problems with my Saturn's cartridge port. Because it's like, some, like, I, I used to be able to save to the cartridge on the Saturn. Now I can't do that at all for some reason. I can still transfer memory back and forth between them, but I can't save directly to the cartridge. Which I'm, like, baffled as to why. Maybe, maybe there's, like, a battery in my cartridge? I'm gonna take that cartridge apart and see what's going on with that, because I have no idea, like... Because it detects the cartridge, obviously. Sometimes, though, I have to, like, do a thing where it's, like, semi-connected to the Saturn to detect it. All in all, I foresee me having to modify my Saturn in the future with, like, um... Uh, ba basically like a no CD-ROM thing, you know, like, so it reads SD cards. What? 
What does that mean? Like, okay, so if I go by those two bushes, there'll be a turtle and a sombrero? Uh, what? The hint art makes no sense. Like, what? Clearly it's in the desert level somewhere. Oh hey, look, it's it's that rabbit from like Mario Galaxy. I can hit him. Slows him down. Now, there we go, I caught you. Now, oh, he gave me a moon, nice. The rabbits, man. They're interdimensional. They're the glue that ties the Mario universe together. Okay, all right, now I can change my clothes. Well, what unique clothes are there here? Can I be a lumberjack? I bet you that's what it is. I am error. <laughs> Spend money. <laughs> oh, safari, okay. Scientist visor? I can be a scientist. Hey, what's up, Noofy? How you doing? How does this advisor give off a scientist-y vibe? I can't even afford this. I can be Safari Mario! Please come and buy things. They're so honest. Alright, I guess, well, every level I've been able to buy a, a moon, right? So I'm assuming, yep. They're just robotic, um... What's that word like? Like, robotic teapots. A sentient jukebox? Okay. Or boombox, whatever. Who built you guys? If I keep hitting him, will I get... Uh, or is it a different path? No, it's the same. So I don't know what the point of capturing him again would be. Let's go talk to the Sphinx. I would say that's out of place, but, you know, Mario on the Game Boy. I just made a guess. I have no idea, but I'm just... Everything else seems stupid, like it has to be wedding themed. Read it. Oh, okay. That's like the, one of the most useful jumps, too, is a backward somersault. Because you jump slightly higher when you do that, and you don't have to move. You can do it stationary. Okay, that hurts. Alright, cool. Oh, okay. All right, hold on. Aha! Oh, we're in like a 60s spy movie? What's this music? killed each other. I'm dead! Well, I can slowly die. Oh, I'm in the underbrush. The deep woods. Watch out, Mario. The owls aren't what they seem. Christmas tree. 
I'm now a Christmas tree. Wait, do I have a mustache? What? Oh, that's it. That's as much as it moves. Okay, there's a giant T-Rex, but he has a hat. He learned. He adapted. He's figured out. My only weakness is hats. Well. Oh. around. There you go. Is it this motion? Kind of. Okay, so we, we plant something in it? What? Deep woods. Oh, hey. Is he watering himself? I mean, clear, I am wearing the exploration outfit. Just call me Pitfall Mario. Okay, so there is there is a reason to wear each themed outfit in a level. There might be certain things that unlock. It, it doesn't really unlock abilities, but there's definitely like places they won't let you in unless you're wearing the right outfit. Ew! No! That robot tried to proposition me. Alright, now I'm gonna... Oh wow, that thing's huge. Otherwise, just cosmetic, right? I like how they brought, like, I don't know why, but like, what in other games when when the when the vine grew, it wasn't it wasn't as like creepy or weird, but in this one it kind of is. I mean, this dates back to like Mario Two and Mario One. Here, though, I don't know. But there's shadows. Did, did, did I already get those coins? I did. I wish the coins wouldn't cast shadows if I already got them. Right, let's see what's over here. A hammer, brother? Oh, you got fireballs. Oh, well, look out. Wait, can I become him? He was wearing a hat, or a helmet, or a safety helmet. Alright, let's do the backflip. Okay, backflip, wall jump. Oh, it was close. It's like, it's like the angle is just slightly off. Not that wall. There we go. Okay, I need to light a fire. But if I turn into the turtle, I wouldn't be able to jump up here, would I? To light the fire? I, I gotta make that turtle respawn, because now I have to see if I can turn transform into the turtle or not. So, if I grow here, will it be, like, longer? I don't get the point of, of these, like, things. No, not really. It's not going to get any bigger. If I kill him there, it does nothing either. 
Right, let's see if that turtle's respawned. I technically went into a new area. Oh, he did. Okay, wow, he's got some hair. Get up there. Oh, but now it's hard for me to get up there. Do I have to go all the way around? Alright, maybe maybe what I do is just jump and throw a fireball. Oh, okay. Somehow I got up there. Alright, I lit the fire. Nothing happened. Oh, okay. Anything else to burn? I'm killing some of these plants. Take the pro controller to throw faster? Oh, okay. underwater thing. Doesn't look like anything's there other than like some coins. You know what, let's let's try for that. Oh, it's just coins? Let's break the level with this character. in the red maze. Oh, nice. <laughs> you gotta push this up. Iron Road halfway point. Ah! You! Oh, that moon was important. Because we got a cutscene and everything for that one. The other one's not so much. And a P switch. Okay, a flower road. What else is here? Oh, the plants are gone. All right, flower road it is. Oh, it disappears. So you gotta, like, the wind. Alright, but what's over here? Looks like something's over here, so let's check it out. Get some 
bolts. Explains why there's a coin there. musical choices they picked for this game. Sky Garden Tower. What's up, Ball Buster, babe? Yeah, you think, you think the reason why we're not seeing a lot of Nintendo games is they're working on a new system? Or you think they only really make... It always seems like when Nintendo makes games, they only may really make games, like, during the system's, like, release. You know what I mean? Like, launch. That's when we see the most Nintendo games. Not all the time, but, like, most of the time. Like, when you think about the N64, you know, people always talk about Mario 64. That was day one. You know, or like, um, Super Nintendo, like, the Mario game, that was day one. And then, I mean, Yoshi's Island is technically the sequel, but that came out, like, at the very end. I mean, it makes sense. You want your launch to be successful, so you want to start strong. But then again, you also don't want to have too many games, like, in a series, too. Because then they compete against themselves in, in the same system. Alright, so he just pukes. Can I not jump on him? There we go. I guess that's why I haven't bought a single Switch game since launch. Or since I, I got it for like, a present. I think it was my birthday or Christmas. My mom got me the Switch and then I went out and bought Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild. No wait, no, I think she got me Mario Odyssey with it in like, um, the Rapids game. And then I went out and got Mario Kart and Breath of the Wild. Or Street Fighter. I don't know, I only have five games on the Switch. I don't have a lot of games, man. Please. Oh, man, hit him. Oh, like an SSD type uh, system? I do like, I was talking about that earlier, like how I like the fact that the Switch does use like, um, like cards instead of a disk drive. Cause that means it'll work like 30 years from now, it'll be just fine. I won't have to worry about like, a, um, the motor wearing out on a disk drive like I do with all my disk drive systems. I know some people don't care about that, but like, for me, I kind of like my game systems to still work, you know, 20... or 30 years since I played them. Because I'm, I'm kind of more into like... You know, I like to preserve the games that I bought and that I have. Yeah, the old school... I mean, there are some games on the Super Nintendo that have loading time, like Mickey Mania. <laughs> I'm missing like three three things, right? I can't just leave the level. I'm gonna try. But according to the HUD, I I think I need three more moons.
Yep. All right, I'll go find more moons. Even though I found more moons in the other levels, but the, they don't count. You know, only the moons that you find in that specific level. Oh, look, flowers. Are they fire flowers? Oh my god, what the heck? Okay, I did not expect that, but sure. Okay, so some- oh, tanks! Tanks! Heck yeah! Uh, that's what Mario was messing with. Tank warfare. Got him. Oh wait, we got some stuff here. Let me get this. Yeah, like, uh, I especially noticed that with Charles of Mana on the Super Nintendo, that, like, it, it is, it, there, there's, like, loading, but there's also, like, it's kind of slow, you know, like, there's slow down in the menus, oddly enough. I can't enter with the tank. Requires time for the next till he can produce another seed. Oh wait, he can go up here? How do I get up there? I guess I jump off the stock. Meanwhile, Har Mario humps the beanstalk. Alright, maybe if- I gotta angle this just right here. Or not. Or maybe I need to become one of those plant guys that can stretch their legs. Let's do that. I don't know why I care about those bolts, but I know they're there, so it's like, I have to get them. Where are those stretchy leg guys? Okay, there's none over here, maybe... I mean, that way you feel more secure. Oh, here we go. Whoa. The exact height you need it to. Good. Look at him go! Got a flag. Now, when I was a kid, I was really good in gym at climbing the rope. Like, I could make it all the way to the ceiling. I don't think I can do that now. It's like one of those things when you're a kid, you know, when you're like a certain age, so you're able to like lift your body weight easily. Alright, there's a rocket ship. We gotta get there. Ah. Oh my god. Alright, I made it. Landing! It's so foggy. Or like, like I could fall out of my bunk bed, like on the top of my bunk bed as a kid and not get hurt at all. Now if that happened, oh man, I'd be, that would hurt. Alright, so I gotta click moons. There's no drop down? I can't just press crouch and drop- oh, just press the opposite direction. Why is- why is there a path that goes here, though? I- I guess that's why, like, in Dungeons and Dragons, like, smaller characters like dwarves and, like, hobbits and whatever, or halflings, they can, like, tumble and stuff, whereas, like, um... Uh, it's because they have a smaller frame.
Yeah, now if you do that, you're gonna hurt yourself. Alright, did that. I'm gonna follow these coins. It must be a hint. There's a rocket over here. That ends the level, but that doesn't get me what I want, which is a moon. Or is that where I entered the level from? Okay, there's the wall. Wait, there's something down there. Or is there something down there? Maybe that was just my feathers. Oh, okay. It's even more bizarre, but alright. Okay, so the level loops around. And your only hint that there's stuff underneath the level is that one, like, walkway that leads nowhere. You got a moon, wandering in Silent Hill. Alright, two more moons. What are these guys all razzled about? The recharge station is crowded. I guess he died, huh? Would have to do more of the physical stuff. Well, the younger troops were the first line, too. The older guys were all the way in the back. They were the Triorii. But they used to be the guys in the front, you know? Why is this guy taking forever to recharge? Passive aggressive commentary. Let's get this moon then. These are robots, man. There's a secret coin up here. I don't know why I'm collecting them. It's... So is there a way I can help with this, or...? Yeah, that's the pecking order. Speaking of Rome, that's... I've been thinking about playing Rome 2. Lately, you know, Rome 2 Total War. I was gonna play a strategy game today, I didn't really do that. I played some Star Trek and I played this. But maybe tomorrow I'll do the strategy thing. There's a Goomba with a red hat. I assume we can talk to them. Or wait, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so we we really can't jump on the third on the three tier Goomba. Nope. Maybe if we get over here and then we can jump on the three. There we go. Dig up a few mods. I'm gonna try to play it unmodded. Though I have modded the AI to be a little bit like um, to have access to more agents. Like the same amount of agents the player has. Uh, that impresses her. Yeah. And then she spouts out a moon. She's so impressed by how... It's so hard not to make a penis joke right now, you know? Like, it's... I don't know. Alright. But you know what will shock her, though? When I murder all of them. Oh, no, she just runs away. Okay, well, yeah. and, I, and I also failed in murdering them. Yeah, I got enough moons now. We can get out of here. First, we gotta have hardcore tank combat. Oh crap, no, I thought that was the fire button. Why did I think that? Break this too, huh? Okay. Oh, we gotta reload? And these projectiles have, like, no no drag or anything. Like, gravity doesn't affect them at all. They go completely straight. Let me look. Yeah. They don't arc. The Battle Tanks game on the N64? Well, there's, like, half here. I heard that one's pretty good. Is that the one where there's no women? And, like, like, they're fighting to try and get, like, the last woman after the apocalypse. Oh, God! There's a game like that, I, I think, on the N64. 
Well, you, well, you're in a tank. Do that. I made a couple of them. I might check them out. I'm always looking for more N64 games to play. The Odyssey has powered up. Captain, initiate warp core. Oh, okay, Metro Kingdom. Time to cross the vast ocean. You know, we used to cross galaxies. We used to have a ship that that one princess, what's her face, gave us, whatever. All right, I'm gonna end the stream here. I think it auto saves, right? Like I don't have to like save. I'll try to stream tomorrow. Like hopefully I get a Rocksmith stream tomorrow uh, going and a game stream. Uh, don't know what game though. We'll see. I mean, like it could be anything. It could be like could be more Bridge Commander. Could be more this. Could be like Rome Total War. I have any more candy left? Got okay. The last stick of candy. So the game lasted throughout the whole box. And thanks for hanging out, ball busting babe. Thanks everyone for being here. Thanks for lurking. I do appreciate it. Mm. And I'll see you guys next time. Well, tomorrow. Alright, I gotta... Oh, how long does this last? That long? Alright. Drop my controller. I gotta charge it. Alright guys, have a good one. Thanks for hanging out.